mountain men, men of the land. These adventurous few traveled into the unknown west to trap and trade in the Rockies. They risked their lives on a day-to-day -day basis in order to earn an exponential profit from beaver trapping. This positively impacted the European trade market, as beaver pelts were the most coveted clothing article of the time. Furthermore, it stimulated the American economy because it allowed for westward expansion. This concept supports Manifest Destiny, as the mountain men blazed trails west for settlers to later follow and expand, making America what it is today. Some notable men were people like Jedediah Smith, William Ashley, Jim Bridger, and Matt Hentz. Matt Hentz is noted for trapping the largest beaver in the West. The environmental skills of these men would be comparable to our modern day Bear Grylls. Jedediah Smith would most likely be the most renowned of all these mountain men because he was one of the first trappers to head West. He explored the West, which at the time was still uncharted. It was filled with copious amounts of beavers, critters, and untamed wilderness. The mechanic of these beaver traps is demonstrated here. The trappers would set the traps early in the morning, generally in close proximity to rivers and lakes. Evening. How much for this rifle? Without the rifle, I give two deer belt and deer leg. Okay, okay. Fair, fair, fair trade. Go with this. How much for this pistol? I'll give you deer head. That gun's gonna cost you five beaver pelts. No, I can only get three before I Five! Need I want five! I can get five. Five! I, can only get I three. want five! Get him, John! Get him! So cold! So cold! In the West, fur trappers commonly had to deal with factors such as cold, as shown here. Commonly, mountain men had to deal with intense starvation due to lack of food, overhunting, and many issues such as that. They were forced to eat many things, whether it be leather, rocks, or insects. gathered here today in holy matrimony to join these two, the savage Squanty Mountain Man, Joe, in holy matrimony. Squantina, do you take Joe to be your lawfully wedded husband? Oh, I don't, I don't. Joe, do you take Squantina to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yeah! You may now kiss the savage. <laughs> oh, look, a deer. We need his fur to make our clothing and stuff.
Well, we made it, boys. Finally here in the rest. We've opened up the west to new settlers, made many a fine trails for them to follow. We've helped create manifest destiny, the belief that the U.S. should spread from the east coast to the west coast. Us mountain men, although our hearts in the wood, have opened up the baths to creation and beauty in the west. Rendezvous were started by General William Ashley in 1825. They turned into a month-long carnival with dancing, shouting, trading, running, jumping, singing, racing, target shooting, frolic, horse races, running races, target shooting, gambling, and lots of whiskey drinking. Ready? Roll. Nine. Eight. Roll the lows there, Indian. Indian. Three. Oh. Three. <laughs> Start laughing. Three. <laughs> you got it. Well, we're finally here, boys. Mm, smell. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> we finally arrived west. The Apache! Oh! <laughs> Please, or see attack him. Attack him. Where are the natives? I don't know. I know they're somewhere around here. 